Wind farms like this one in California are becoming more common in rural areas of the U.S. An industry association says last year alone, wind power capacity in America grew by 45 percent. Mostly wind power is generated by large propellers that can only be placed in the countryside. But now a U.S. company is offering a propeller-free personal windmill that can be set up in a city or suburb. The president of Mariah Power, Mike Hess, demonstrates what he calls the wind spire. This will generate 25 to 30 percent of the power in your house. But if we, we're building a three kilowatt version, which is only twice the width, same height, and it generates 100 percent of your power requirements. This new system was part of an environmentally friendly exhibit at the U.S. Botanical Garden in Washington. The design was inspired by a 3,000 year old windmill the Egyptians used to grind wheat. The company had the modern version independently tested here in Utah to prove it can be competitive with large propellers of traditional windmills. The large blades have been known to kill birds and bats, and because they move much faster than wind speeds, they can be noisy. But Hess says the Windspire's vertical axis wind turbine is not only very quiet, but also bird friendly. Bird friendly, yes, because it only spins at two and a half times the speed of wind so they can see it. Hess says the company has begun installing the nine meter tall devices which can plug into household power and customers can see on their home computers how much electricity the Windspire is giving them. This is the wireless connector which allows them to tell how much power is being produced. It allows them to tell how fast the wind's blowing. All of that comes out on a computer readout. The new windmill design attracts the curiosity of tourists and passers-by, many who might find the Windspire an affordable way to help power their homes. For producer Zulima Palacio, Milar Sega, VOA News.